In the last video, I show you my new grill, its qualities, why I got it, assembling and seasoning. This is the massive bill 40 inches digital charcoal smoker that cooks like a pellet grill, but with charcoal and real wood. And in this video, I'm challenging myself to explore the capabilities of this grill to the max and smoke as many ribs as I can fit in it. Oh my God! And this is not only a challenge, but also the ultimate review for this grill. And after this, I will be eating ribs for a month. In any case, I went to my favorite store, Broadway Made and Fitch, and got me 12 spare ribs racks for this experiment. That, together with barbecue sauce, extra rubs, and everything we need to make it happen. If you live in South Florida, I highly recommend you to check Broadway Meat and Fish, as they have the best quality pros for the best possible prices. So, I got home and I started working on it right away. First, let me see how many ribs I can fit on one grill tray. Maybe we have to go and get some more. As you can see right here, there is no way I can fit more than two racks per tray, maybe three if they are small. So having that into consideration, it means that we can only smoke eight to nine racks of ribs per batch. With that in mind, I better get to work or I will never be able to finish seasoning these ribs. And if you ever cooked pork ribs before, you know that the first thing you should do is to remove the membrane of each of them and clean them up. After everything is clean, we need to add the rub, but first, the binder. Based on previous experiments, we already know that the best binder for pork ribs will be the regular beloved yellow mustard. Adding yellow mustard and rub to all these ribs will be a mess, but there is only one way to go, so you better don't mention anything to Miss Ninja. And if we are already making all these ribs, it is imperative for us to try different rubs, right? The first rub I will use will be my friend's Neil Serap all-purpose rub. This rub goes great with ribs, and even though we are not comparing rubs here, I know that these ribs will have a great flavor. Next, we have this rub from That's The One. This rub was sent to me some time ago, and I must admit that the colors and smells are very nice and yummy. And the last rub we will use is a genetic one I got from the store. I never used this rub before, but it looks like a nice combination of spices with a very nice aromatic touch. With all that done, it is time for us to allow them ribs to rest with the rub and get them ready for the cook tomorrow. My plan here is to cook at 250 degrees for five hours, no wrapping, and see what happens at the end. Well, we are getting ready for the smoke, and with this grill, that is not a lot to do. First, you need to fill up the charcoal section with any charcoal you want. Apparently, it doesn't have to be any specific kind, but if you ask me, I will always go with lump charcoal from Fogo Charcoal. With all this done, all we need to do is to set the fire starters in this corner of the charcoal basket and set it on fire. I'm gonna make sure I drop a few charcoals over and next to the fire and set the basket into the grill. Close the door and set my temperature. As I explained before, I will be cooking all these ribs at 250 degrees for five hours, no wrapping. I thought about it and wrapping all these ribs will be a huge waste of good aluminum foil. So we are going commando today. And after three hours, I will be adding barbecue sauce to the ribs every 30 minutes. And for that, we have three different sauces. Let's see which of them brings more flavors to the meat. I selected these three for different reasons. Sweet Baby Rays are sold everywhere, and it is the most common sauce used by everyone I know. I also picked this Weber sauce because of its name. Weber is a well-known brand, and I never tried their barbecue sauce before, so this is when we will see how good it is. And the bone sucking sauce, I got it just because it is a serious sauce. I never tried before, but it looks like this sauce don't play. The main trick to know when your ribs are ready is when you pick them up and they bend this way without breaking. Right there, you know it is time to take them out and serve. Just to keep a culture, I will accompany these ribs with some simple coffee. All right, we have 
some new testers today. And we have here Jonathan in the red corner. And the returning champion. And the returning champion. And we have Leilani in the blue corner. And we're gonna see which of those three ribs are the best. Let's go for it, guys. Go, 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 go. Oh, there you go. Oh. Okay. Mm. Okay, this one's very juicy. A little spicy. I like it. Let me try against my will. Yeah, you're being forced to do it. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> this has some kind of sweet. This one is winning so far. This one's and good. Which one is winning? The first one? The first one. The first one is winning. And let me try a little piece of the third one. All right, Leilani, which one is winning for you? I only have one. Which you only one? have one? Come yeah. on, let's go for the other one. Okay. Give it a good bite right in the middle. Go for it. Get dirty, get dirty. This is barbecue. Mm. I have my winner. You have your winner? Okay. The second one. How do you like that one? I like this one better. You like the first one better? It has more bite to it. Nice. Okay. Let me try the third one. All right, so let's see which is the winner. The winner from Leilani will be the first one, and the winner for Jonathan will be my first one. The third one. So there you go. We have some more tests here to go, so let's go. Now we have Vitzel and we have Nico, and they're gonna try and see which is the best for them. Let's go. All right, Nico. Nico is Nico is going for the second one. Mm. I think Nico is liking it. Vitzel, what do you think, Vitzel? Like it? Nice. Let's go for number two. Hmm. How do you like it? Mm -hmm. That one's better than the other one? It's good. Better than the, than the first one? Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Number two is winning. Uh, let's go for Nico is going to be number one and it says going to be number three. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Itzel. How do you like it? For me, it's the third, third one. one. The third one is going to be your best? Yeah. Oh, okay. The third one. <laughs> oh, oh, something's going on here. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. But something is going on. Hey, hey, you're stealing. Yeah. <laughs> Here we have the boys and we have Leilani again. We're going to give it a good try now. Let's see what happens. All right. I'm going to start with this one, Leilani's best. The best, one. The best Let's one. see. The best one. That is the best one. Oh, man. The best one. That's a good one. Mm. The smoky flavor in this thing is amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow, I really like it. But the smoky flavor is awesome. Let's go for number... B. Let's go for number B. Mm. Ah. I think that one is still winning. Bitter. Yeah, mm -hmm. that one's good. And then everybody says that this one is a little spicy. Let's give it a good try. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. From number A, B, and C. Damn, the spicy in that one is awesome. I'm gonna go with number A. Yeah. <laughs> number A is awesome. The rest are really good. And we still have a bunch of other ones. Yeah. We have a lot here to cook. So, look at all these guys. We're gonna be cutting all this thing up and serving it in a little bit. We have a lot of coleslaw in there. We have some avocado. We have the whole thing in here. So that's all for today, I'm ring. What do you guys think about this? If I made you hungry, you have to hit me with a like, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends and family, and don't forget to share this video so the social network because that helps us a lot. Miss Ninja is not here today, she's doing a few stuff, but the whole family is here and we're having a lot of good time. That's all for today, but remember that I love you. Leilani, how are those ribs? Delicious! <laughs>